Here's the mistake that you must avoid or you could get yourself failed. It's the Halloween season and we're gonna do a Christmas movie. This is one of my favorite Christmas movies, Gremlins. All right, so we've got quite a few hazards here. So here's our NG2 risk assessment. First of all, we always remember to fill in this top bit here. So this is the Montgomery Ward department store. And yes, it is a Christmas movie because it was released on the 7th of December, 1984. So it's a December, definitely, definitely a horribly funny Christmas movie. We base our risk assessment on a on an area, not a task. That's the thing with Nibosh. They, they encourage you to look at a, an, an area, a geographical zone. So I've put down the outdoor goods section. But in this particular video, I'm going to focus on this chainsaw activity, if you like. Now, here's a mistake to avoid. The mistake is to start jumbling all of the chainsaw hazards into one hazard. So let me demonstrate what that might look like. And so you choose your, uh, your hazard category, which would be work equipment, and you could say use of the chainsaw. And I would suggest that's not a very specific hazard. You might want to write something a bit more descriptive. Anyway, here's the mistake that you must avoid or you could get yourself failed. So we could say users of the chainsaw could suffer cuts. Okay, so there's one risk from using the chainsaw. And then you might say, oh, and you could suffer hearing damage from the noise. Uh, anyone in the area could suffer hearing damage from noise. And what else is there? There's also fumes from the petrol engine, um, inhalation of fumes from, uh, from petrol um, and exhaust, something like that. And what else is there? There's hand-on vibration. Okay, like hand-on vibration could lead to uh, vibration white finger. All right, now this is a major mistake. <laughs> because you have just jumbled four different hazards into one. The, the other problem with this is that it's just messy, messy, because each one of those four hazards has its own control measures, right? There, there are quite a few control measures for each one of those. And there might be quite a few different recommendations. And it's just one big messy jumble. So what we do is that we just split them out. You have one hazard per row. So this is what we do. We have work equipment use of the chainsaw, which has rotate uh, a rotating blade, a rotating and sharp blade. There we are, there we've got a work equipment hazard. Then we've got the noise issue. So hazard category, noise. Noise from the chainsaw is in excess of whatever the noise level is, in excess of what, let's say it's, uh, let's say it's, uh, it's about 92 decibels or something like that. You find out how loud your chainsaw is. Then we've got the fumes. Fumes would be a substance hazardous to health. So we could say uh, hazardous substances, exhaust fumes uh, during use of petrol powered chainsaw. And then in the last one here, I've got another box there, we could talk about the hand arm vibration. So vibration is a hazard category. We could say exposure to hand arm vibration during use of the chainsaw. So the moral of that is if you have a piece of equipment which you're putting on your risk assessment and it presents you with quite a few different significant hazards, make sure you split those up on your risk assessment into separate rows. 